Welcome you to the house of Slanar. Thanking you for coming to our house. The Longhouse is a gathering place for the Skokomish tribe, as well as a healing home. This is a place where we bring to life spirits. I'm really, really for this house and what it brings to our family and to our community because it helps stand us up where we belong. We can take care of ourselves and, and be prepared for anything. If the spirit lives in this house, in prayers and traditions, in songs and shared rhythms, the architect making sure it's built right is Delbert Miller. We have somebody that still watches what all the other little roles are doing, you know, and so that neutral observer is somebody that, our go-to guy, and um, somebody that has the kind and humble heart. Carrying a stew of seafood to share, Miller leads by example. He knows people are watching and learning. So show me, he says, don't tell me. He gets things done without having to use that aggressiveness. He gets things done because people want to be there. He gets things done because he lives by example and there's people following him. And I admire him very, very much. I've watched Smutkum. He's teaching the young people at Skok. He's trying to instill some of his breath into them, just like his uncle shared his breath with all the Skokomish people. Dalbert picked up and carried the role that uncle left behind. And so he spent a lot of time in the longhouse with him, in the Skokomish longhouse. Um, listening and learning those ways. Dalbert is the continuation of that thread, you know, that cultural fabric, the collective spirit. This is the cormorant, and this one is a loon, and they'll be facing each other, and they'll have paintbrushes in their mouth. And these would be stood in front of the house for people to come and see. As soon as they see it, uh, they would know then, uh, well, he must have earned the right to have these because you can only own them. Uh, the old way if you have been trained. And so he's going to be doing an elk ceremony. These are what we're working with our children to understand a lot of this. Uh, it's uh, about songs. <laughs> That's what is so important about our culture, to be trained in this. Stuhwastula, what we call, means to remember the ancient law. How to train the people, how to re what are these laws? Where the village sites were, the language, all of the ceremonies, the songs, the history, identity, family trees, patya aqua, atishla albud, means our family tree way, way, way back, the gifts that go along in the family, if we don't teach the children, it will be our fault if there's a, a whole generations of empty children that go without. And that's a frightening thing to, to think about. That's the sign of a true leader, somebody who leads by example, and a leader who wants to make more leaders, not followers, and that's Delbert Miller. Through his art and his leadership, Delbert Miller helps people stand up for themselves finding firm cultural footing. His show-me style is as soft and gentle as his power and impact are subtle. Great is my gift from my spirit, my power. Great is my gift. Hachidah, people, Hachidah.